Welcome to Illustrations by Akanksha. Today I'm going to show you how to create three different leather textures inside of Photoshop using only filters. So let's get started. Our first texture is pebble green leather. We are going to start off with a new document. So let's go to File, New. Settings are going to be 3000 pixels width. 3000 pixels height, resolution you can take down to 72 if you are only using for web, click create. So this is our new document. We are going to start this off by creating the actual pattern that we are going to put on a leather. So let's get started. You make sure that this is actually black and white so you can reset these colors. Make sure that the top color is black. Come up to filter, filter gallery. And you're going to choose stained glass. Your settings here are going to be cell size 12, border thickness of 5 and light intensity of 2. Click OK. Now once you have this texture, we are going to go ahead and save that. We'll go to file, save as. We're going to save it to the desktop. We're going to name it Pebble Print. Format Photoshop. Save that there. Now we are going to open another new document. And it's going to be the same. 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. Resolution 72. Click Create. This is our new document. We are going to be working in. The first thing we are going to do is choose the colors for our leather. We are just going to stick with the traditional brown leathers for this. We can make this any color we want or you can make it and then change it the colors later on. And I'll show you how to do that as well. For this one, our background color is going to be 9C5F38. Click OK. And our foreground color is going to be something just slightly lighter than that, but not very much. So we're going to go with AA673F. Click OK. You can see that there is very, very small difference in these two. We want to keep this looking more like a leather and less like a cloudy effect. So we're going to come up to filter. Render. Render clouds. So that's giving us this cloud effect. And then over that, we are going to go back to filter, filter gallery. And this time, we are going to use this texturizer filter. And then in this section right here, where you are choosing the type of texture, we are going to actually add the texture that we just created. So you are going to come to this little hamburger menu, load texture and we saved our texture to the desktop that we named pebble print, load that in there. And that's going to give us this texture right here. Okay, so we're going to set our scale for this to 105 and our relief is going to be set to 4. light top right click ok now this is what we have got right now it's kind of hard to see hopefully you can see that ok so this is our first texture this is the pebble texture now we're going to make something that looks a little bit more like a snake skin so we're going to go back to filter filter gallery and then back to texturizer we're going to use that same pebble texture but this time we're going to bring the scale down to 100 percent and our relief is going to come down to two and also for this a light is at top right click ok and now you have something that is little more grainy and of course, you can change the colors of the background as well. So if you're looking for something more like a snake skin, 
maybe a black and white gray or adding other colors here at the background other than this brown would look beautiful with this texture as well okay so this is our second texture let's get on with our third texture which will be the suede for this one we're gonna need to reset our colors our foreground and background colors we're gonna make those black and white you can press x on your keyboard to make sure that the black is in the background okay we're gonna create a new layer here I'm going to turn this one off so you don't have to see that. And then I'm just going to press command plus delete or control plus backspace to fill this black. We are going to come up to these filters at the top and add some noise here. We we'll leave the noise at 100%. We are using Gaussian distribution and make sure monochromatic is checked. Press OK. Now go to filters, filter gallery, back to texturizer. This time we are going to use sandstone and we are going to scale it to 130% and we are going to use a relief of 30. Light top right. Click OK. Okay, now that we have that set, we are going to go ahead, add our colors back in. So we are going to go back with these brownish colors. I'll choose something like 613306. Click OK. And then something that is just slightly lighter than that. Something like seven zero three B zero eight. Click OK. Once you have your color set, create a new layer. Go to filter, render, then clouds. And we're going to reduce the opacity to about 80% or so. Now, when we reduce the opacity, you'll see that we are actually taking away some of the colors. So what we are going to do is add another layer to just add that color back in. So we're going to use the same colors and we're going to go back to filter, render, clouds. We're going to change the layer mode to soft light. Just to get in some color in there. And we're going to add this on the to the top. So we have got a soft light layer here. Just name it soft light. This is a leather texture. And then this one right here is our green. So now what you have got is a suede look. This is going to be really difficult to see. I hope you can see it. So in this video, you learned how to create leather texture and suede texture.